Hey everybody, my name is Isabel May. I'm the director of the Writing Center at the University of Maryland, Baltimore. And I want to take you through in a few minutes how to successfully set up uh, your cover page and really your paper structure for a paper following APA style guidelines. Okay, so I've pulled up here a new document in Word. And one thing to know about Word is that the default setting of Microsoft Word does not correspond with the requirements for the default setting for an APA style paper, unfortunately. There's a couple of things that I always suggest to do before you even start drafting. So the first thing you want to do, um, I always like to do that, is to turn on um, this little hide button or unhide button. And it looks like the paragraph sign. So by clicking on it, um, you'll suddenly see um, there we go. You see the little paragraph sign on the page. That's not going to print, right? Because it's it's unhidden. It just shows you all the formatting, uh, the, the behind the scenes formatting, so to speak, on your page. So it can be really useful. So the first thing, uh, so the, then you what you want to do is start actually with your cover page. And the cover page in APA is always centered. So I'm going to select the center option here, and I'm going to go down with a couple of um, enter spaces to sort of the middle, and type in the title of my paper, The Effects of Chocolate Consumption on Teenagers. My name, it's usually the second space, uh, the second line. Uh, my institutional affiliation, either as a publisher or as, you know, for a course assignment. University of Maryland, Baltimore, should capitalize Baltimore. And then if you're doing this for a class, um, I always recommend to writers to put in the acronym for the class and the course number. Um, so MSH, uh, MHS 750. So that's pretty much the setup of my, of my cover page. And as you can go down a little bit, one space. The next thing you want to do before you do anything else is I would highlight everything that is on your first page. And then you have to format it with the correct paragraphing. So the way to do that is to double, uh, to right click on what you've highlighted, click on paragraph. And you'll get this window. This is a really useful window for any formatting issues in Word. You always want to have it set on spacing before and after at zero. And the line spacing should always be double. You saw how the default setting is different. This is the setting you'll need for APA. You don't have to worry about margins or the top, header and footer if you don't manipulate it. That's set up already according to APA standards. What you need to change is the line spacing. So we click on OK and everything's fine. Sometimes you might have to move this up a little bit because the spacing just changed a little, right? Okay, perfect. So the next thing you want to do is to start working on the items that need to go into your header on the first and then subsequent pages. So there is this thing called the running head in APA and I'm going to show you what it is in a second but before I show you what it is let's go into the space where it needs to happen it actually needs to happen up here in the foot in the header so you want to double click with the left um, click on your mouse double click on it you automatically get into the header right, It's super simple um, in the header the first thing you want to do this pane comes up automatically in Microsoft Office on PCs. On Mac, sometimes you have to look for it. Um, you want to click on different first page because your first page or the header on your first page is going to look different than on your second and subsequent pages. The next thing you want to do is insert page numbers. So you go on the insert tab on top here, um, look for page numbers. The page number is always top of the page, plane number three. There we go. Um, and then the running head actually, literally, you write in running head the words running head with a colon space and then your title in caps um, and sometimes if your title is really long you don't want to put the whole title in there so it shouldn't be longer than three or four maybe five words I think there's a character limit on it um, I don't remember the exact number but usually four or five words of your title if you can or an abbreviated version of your title so I'm going to call this effects of chocolate consumption There we go. All right, so I'm done with my first page. Yeehaw. So then I have to start figuring out, okay, what do I going to do on pages two and, and later? It's very simple. So double click back on the main text so you get out of the header, which I'm doing right here. Um, I always like to insert a page break here, right? So it automatically starts me on page two. 
Um, and you'll see how in the header on the second page, you see nothing in there. Remember, different first page. So we have to do some work on the header on the second page. Before we even go there, I would always recommend sometimes the, um, the cursor stays centered because you centered parts of your first page. So on the home button, you can click on the left align and you're safe with that. So let's double click again with the left on our mouse, the left click on our mouse on the top here. So we get into the header. Um, you see it still says different first page, right? So now we have to format the second page. So we have to get the page number on there. And we do the same process that we did earlier. We click on insert, page number, top of page, plane number three, and boom, there we are. And then here, what you put in here is the actual title or what you have as your running head on the first page, but just the stuff that's in caps. So I'm going to actually copy and paste this, make my life a little easier. And voila, here you are. And you click back on the main text and you can continue, you know, drafting whatever you want to draft. Um, an additional thing that is useful to do since you're already here um, might be just to go down a couple of spaces here. I would insert another page break. It gets you to page three. Um, I would actually set up your reference page already. And to do that, um, the formatting in APA, you, set, you center the, uh, the heading references. Well, let me get out of caps. References. There we are. Um, and then you align this left and you're good to go. Notice that references, the heading references is not bolded, not italicized, not underlined, just plain, uh, plain, um, plain, not language, plain lettering, right? Um, different from other headings within your text. So that's basically how you do it. And uh, any questions, email us at writingcenter at umaryland.edu. Again, that's writingcenter, one word, at umaryland.edu. Thanks, guys.